This, uh, despite the fact that there's an awful lot that we, that you, don't know about the law, um, ultimately, uh, this is not something to throw up your hands about and say you can't do it. Um, yes, there are things to be afraid of, be concerned about, uh, get legal advice in many areas, but ultimately, what you are doing here is a legal risk analysis. And we can do a risk analysis. Uh, this is, you know, this is not outside of our range or our comfort zone. Uh, just, you know, remember what we do in a risk analysis and do, you know, extend it to the legal area. Um, we've just talked about liability. Um, just, you know, remind your managers that uh, this extends to managers, to senior managers, to board members. Uh, and, you know, people have to take uh, cognizance uh, of the fact that, yes, there is a risk here to them. Um, and, you know, that should be enough to, to get people on board. Um, so, uh, what is the risk of injury to ourselves, to our reputation, to our uh, clients, to our partners, our contractors, uh, the people in our supply chain, um, what is the risk of injury versus the cost of protection? And, you know, do that, do that risk analysis. We can do risk analysis. Uh, you know, we, that was <laughs> sort of right back where we started in security management. Um, if the cost of protection is less than the risk of injury, then, yeah, you got to do it. That's, uh, you know, kind of the, the definition of legal liability in, in our terms rather than theirs. But, you know, that's, that's ultimately what we're talking about. Um, now, there are other difficulties uh, in terms of computer crime. Um, the uh, legal definitions and the complexity of legal definitions of some of the technical issues that we have to deal with. Um, those, are, those are things to, to be aware of. And again, you, you know, probably want to uh, take some advice, legal advice, uh, if that's an area that you think may have some implications for your enterprise. Um, legislation without uh, consideration of, of the processes. Um, uh, we've talked about cross-jurisdictional problems. Um, the... Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, uh, this next one, uh, the private sector lack of reporting. That, you know, again, back at the beginning when we were talking about risk analysis. Um, this is uh, an area that we were concerned about then. What are the, the actual risks? What are the actual numbers? Which is difficult to come across when people won't report. So, um, what... Uh, encouragements can there be to get people to report uh, setting appropriate punishments in that regard appropriate rewards um, what you know how to amend behaviors there and and think about this in terms of your own enterprise as well the uh, rewards and punishments 
in terms of reporting a problem within the enterprise. Um, electronic contracts and non-repudiation. And I mean, we, we talked about non-repudiation in cryptography in technical terms. But, you know, that is what we need to have. And, and so when you think you've got a system that is, is supporting um, uh, electronic contracts, what um, technical provisions for non-repudiation are there? And, and do they, in fact, support, technically support, the legal non-repudiation that we may need? Um, in that regard. So, uh, a number of different areas uh, to be dealt with in, in the law that, you know, are not fully established, uh, are not, um, you know, set down in stone, uh, chapter and verse, and uh, this is what you do. You know, there, there are no answers yet. And the, the answers uh, are going to be inconsistent for a while. Uh, be aware of that. And, and that inconsistency itself uh, presents you with a risk. Um, so, you know, our, our plans need to leave some, some margin, um, some... Uh, consideration of uh, possibilities that may go one way or another. We can't just say, oh, well, you know, they're going to decide this way eventually. Um, yeah, maybe and maybe not. Uh, make sure that you don't get caught on the not side. So, uh, you know, be, be aware of that as a factor in your legal risk analysis overall. Um, we, uh, we are not legal experts, but we are the experts in technology. And believe me, this is, this is very frustrating trying to discuss with lawyers um, the, the realities of the technology. Um, and uh, advising them when uh, technology and law are not terribly congruent in terms of basic principles. So we, we need to uh, be aware of that and again, give ourselves some margin, uh, probably a lot of margin, in some of these areas, just because of, of the difference in the, the approaches uh, for these type of considerations.